Good morning park managers and welcome back to Archipelago Park. Today we're going to be making an enclosure for the Triceratops and the Taurosaurus. I just felt like having two types of Ceratops in an enclosure would be quite nice and they're not too dissimilar from looking so I thought it'd be kind of interesting, kind of hard from a distance to tell what's what unless you really know what you're looking at and I thought I quite like that feel. I made a very interesting shaped enclosure, something a little bit different. We're going to have two viewing galleries as well as a dome in this little weird sort of shaped area very curved I thought it'd just be different looks a bit interesting on this particular island we had a few of the natural plants into uh, the offshore area as well as a bit of water and then we decided that I'm going to plant these big trees knocking about here and there and then do like rockery around it to sort of like stop any triceratops from I don't know probably rubbing its horns against the branch which could potentially injure the triceratops horns or damage the tree and you know you know I'm, I'm sort of overthinking it really but that's the kind of way I was sort of going for when you look at some rhino enclosures or elephant enclosures if they do have trees in them sometimes they do have like a boundary around it to stop the uh, critter from getting too close to that tree like I said for potentially damaging the tree or damaging itself on the tree uh, and I thought that was kind of interesting aspect so I thought I'd throw it in there and as well noticing a lot of rhino and like uh, sort of a big animal basically enclosures they do have like this sort of like sand and dirt everywhere so I thought I'd do dirt paths where they obviously walk down loads I do a bit of sand here and there uh, you know they can give themselves dust baths etc if they if that was certainly added, added to the game that would have been cool but yeah they could give themselves dust baths if we're thinking storyline and then around the viewing dome area, that's where I put the food source. So they will travel back and forth from the, do the dome area to the offshore area to get a drink. So it just kind of gets the enclosure like really well used and walked. So it makes for some interesting shots and viewing when you're just coming around to have a look at the enclosure. Which is something I like doing. I like watching them go back and forth because sometimes when you make a big enclosure like this, the entire enclosure doesn't always get used by these critters. Which is kind of a shame but you know if you do it like this it does make them go back and forth back and forth and uh, you see the enclosure getting well used and well spaced out and honestly I thought these two were a really great combination like they look so good together like like I said from the distance it's kind of hard to tell but when you're up close it's so easy so, um, I just really enjoyed this enclosure and I hope you've enjoyed this enclosure too. I hope it's given you some inspiration with your builds and let me know in the comments. Is there something you'd like to see me make next for Archipelago Park? Because I always go through the comments and I do love seeing these suggestions and things like that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Uh.